All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. All right, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And um, as you can see here, we have a cafe model. Um, I picked the best one I could find. This was a very popular um, tutorial request. Stands on Discord, if you're seeing this, is for you. We're just gonna take a look around. As you can see, the counters. There is uh, lights right over here. And uh, I really like the design of this cafe. So if we take a look around, we have a ton of we have a bunch of uh, very nice angles we could use. We could go up here, we could uh, go down, and here's the balcony. All right, so first things first, um, we're just gonna take everything. So let's grab all of these, the cup. We're just going to group it all into one model. So you wanna hit Control G. All right, it's gonna take some time because there is a lot of parts. So um, yeah, now we're going to right click and uh, go to export selection and uh, right here you want to save it anywhere you want and name it anything. Uh, I'm going to do modern cafe. Alright, so once it's done exporting, we are going to head over to blender. Alright, so here we are. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to hit A. This is going to select everything you're seeing and we're going to hit X and click on delete right over here if you don't understand basic uh, navigation you want to use your scroll wheel this is going to rotate so click down on your scroll wheel or metal mouse button and uh, if you do that while holding down shift this is going to pan and obviously if you just zoom in and out with your uh, scroll wheel so first things first let's go to our Render settings, make sure it's on Eevee. The reason I don't like to use cycles is because uh, it takes too long. And uh, we're doing Roblox graphics, so <laughs> I don't feel like we need to use cycles. So I like to stick with Eevee. Um, yeah, first things first, let's go to File. Let's go to Import. And uh, let's go to Wavefront Object File. And um, all right, so now you want to look for your model. Let me find where I imported it. Okay, let me see. Let me find where it is. All right, it's right over here. And yeah, we're just gonna import split by objects, and we're just gonna hit import. This is gonna take some time once again, so I'm going to cut, and I will see you guys when it is done. All right, so my scene is in, as you can see. Uh, let's navigate, and let's just navigate around, as you can see. Uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to click on this bubble, the third one. This is going to put us in rendered view. The second one is textured view, so from here you can see the textures, but it's just not going to have any uh, lighting. So I like to go into rendered view because we're using Eevee. And everything is pretty much uh, in real time. So let's take a look around. Uh, I don't like the focal length, I don't like the field of view focal length we have. So. I'm gonna hit Shift A and select a camera. And uh, if you hit zero on your number pad, this is going to put you in camera view. And we could move this back into our scene right over here, and we could adjust the focal length so we could see more. There we go. Um, let's just place it somewhere. Doesn't really matter. I think right here is fine. Alright, so first thing, alright, so I'm going to go to properties, I'm going to go to film, and turn on transparency. We're also going to go to our world settings, click on the circle, go to environment texture, hit open, and from here you want to select an XGRI. Um, you can find XGRIs for free online, just look up XGRI free. It's really easy, and what these basically do is these affect the lighting of your scene. So, as you can see this right here. And if we change this to something else, to interior, you can see how the lighting changes as well. So, you want to find something that you like. 
this one is it's not cerebral courtyard I actually really like this one it brings out the color so I'm gonna stick with this one and uh, we're gonna add more additional lighting later but this is just going to be our base lighting so we can see what we are working on for now all right so we have this all right so here's what we got we can go to our render settings again and we're going to turn on ambient occlusion and we're just going to turn our distance up not that much um, somewhere around maybe 11 factor could go up to 1.2 and now we got some shadows it's looking nice and uh, I'm gonna go for bloom all right and turn on screen space reflections all right, so far here is our scene. Um, let's move on to our textures. I'm gonna go for the simple ones first. So click on our model, and we're gonna go up here, go to edit mode. And the reason why I chose this scene is because there are a lot of textures. Um, so the first thing we go for is uh, these things. So you just wanna click, go to your materials right over here, and we could change back to object mode. And uh, we're just going to take metallic, we can turn this up and you can see it change, specular, and we're going to turn roughness. As you can see, um, I don't want too much metallic, I want specular. Alright, so I think that's good. And uh, you can hit tab to change the modes uh, quickly. Now we're going to go to this one, same thing. So I'm going to turn specular up metallic just a tad bit and we're gonna adjust the roughness there we go you just want to do that for the rest of these uh similar textures so go ahead and do that and i will see you when i am done and uh we got this one left i think all right so click on this and metallic specular and roughness it's actually affecting this as well apparently it's the same texture but let's take a look so let's go over here and as you can see these look uh, fantastic now we're gonna head over to the chair legs so go into edit mode we're just gonna click I'm gonna go to I'm gonna click this one for a new material slot let's wait for it and hit new alright just give it a second and I'm gonna go bump metallic all the way up and roughness down specular up so with this material we're gonna click on the legs on the chair legs hit select and we're gonna find our new material that we just made so so right here we we'll click on it and we're gonna hit assign but here is the issue um this chair is the same texture so we have to go over here to our select circle and uh, let's bump up the radius so we have to deselect the chair so hold control and we're just going to deselect the actual chair part also the back so i just go over here Alright, so once you're happy with your selection, I think this is good, except for this. Alright, so once everything is good, we're just gonna go to, we're just gonna hit assign, and this should change in a second. There we go. Let's go back to object mode, and as you can see, our uh, chair legs look amazing. I think this is some great progress. Alright, so that's gonna be it for uh, this first part, and we are going to be back next time for part two so if you want to see part two make sure you hit like on this video and we're gonna turn this scene into something amazing this is actually one of the best models I've ever used and I will see you all next time make sure you join our discord and also follow us on Twitter with that being said I will see you all next time